Hi, and welcome to another Inbox Review. This time we're looking at the Hobby Boss uh, 148 scale F8F-1B Bearcat. Uh, nice bit of box art there, of a, a French version, I believe. Um, quick look around the box. We've got uh, a couple of different, I oh know that's one version, French Air Force. Um, and then we've got the same picture on the side. Kit number is 80357. And then we've got a different version on the side there, which is the Royal Thai Air Force, um, which is probably the version I'm looking to do, as it's a bit different. Um, this, I think Hobby Boss um, do a number of different Bearcat variants. Um, I chose this one particularly because I wanted something different from the usual uh, you know, American stars, and I thought um, either the French, and then I saw this tie, and I thought, yep, that looks like something different. Um, these kits can actually be picked up quite reasonably, actually, on uh, places like eBay and various other um, hobby shops at the moment. It seems to be on an offer uh, around about 14 to 15 pound, so you know, it's quite good for a 148th kit. Uh, anyway, without too much waffle, uh, let's get in the box and uh, have a look, see what we get. Typical hobby boss, we get a colour call out. Let's quickly look at the instructions and the colour call out first. So we've got the two variants, as we've already kind of discussed. Paint colours, um, Mr. Hobby, Vallejo, Model Masters, Tamiya and Humbrol. So you've got a good uh, range there. And then we've got the French one, obviously from the box art. And again, colour call outs. Always nice to have these proper colour, full colour call outs for deckling and painting, makes life a lot easier. Um, fairly standard Hobby Boss uh, type instructions. We've got a little bit on the front here, you know, please read before um, you know, starting the model, what you're going to need, etc. Um, so that's fairly, only obviously in English and uh, I guess, uh, where are these made? China? Chinese probably. Um, <coughs> parts tree. Not a massive amount of parts here, um, but hopefully that will be good. We've then got cockpit build, fuselage halves. Again, fairly quick. I'd imagine that's going to get sandwiched together in the next step. In fact, that's step one. Step two. Uh, looks like we've got a reasonably detailed engine going together here, which is quite nice. Wings. Wings can be folded. They will need to be cut. They're not all pre-cut, which is quite nice in a way. That means um, there's not going to be any ugly seams if you were doing your wings fully, you know, fully retracted. Um, yeah, not, not a massive amount of detail interiorly, so you're not gun bays or anything like that. Um, but nevertheless, that's fine. You've got obviously these sort of um, these parts. I guess they're yeah. So they're the bits. They just help give you a bit of strength. To the actual wing, obviously there for the yeah for the actual wing fold. Then we've got the cowling on one piece cowling um, canopy wheels, gear bay, uh, doors etc. Propeller, and you've got a fuel tank, bomb or rocket option, and we're done. So not an overly complicated kit. Let's see how many bags we get in here. So we've got. One, two, three, four bags of plastic, a nose cone, clear parts, and the decals. These bits over here, let's start. We'll start with the fuselage uh, components first. Let's see what these look like. If I can find my modeling knife. Fairly standard Hobby Boss grey plastic. You've got some fairly nice, I don't know how well the camera's picking that up, but you've got some quite nice, uh, fairly fine recessed rivet lines and um, rivets. Reasonable amount of detail here on the cockpit parts, the sort of instrument, side instruments, um, various bits and pieces. There's a couple of bits Oh no, it's not flash. It looked like it might be, but it isn't. It's actually part of it. The small parts are generally well detailed. Not much to the instrument panel there. 
I think there's a clear part for this. Um, so that'd be nice. Um, didn't notice if we've got any decal options, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. Wings, top part of the wings again. Hopefully the camera's picking that up reasonably well. We've got nice, fine um, recessed panel lines and some rivets in there. Not over the top, which is good. Flaps, obviously everything are all built in that can't really be posed or that you probably could cut them and do something if you wanted. <clears throat> Back here, various bits and pieces. So we've got our propeller. Landing gear, and it looks nicely detailed. Wheels, tail wheels, nice actually. That looks quite nicely detailed. Various little bits and pieces, the bomb, fuel tank, all looking pretty good. Doesn't seem to be any flash or anything too problematic with those parts. And then the last main bag here, which is the bottom part of the wing on the engine. So the wheel base built in. A reasonable amount of detail for the scale. Again, we've got some really nice recessed panel lines and rivets. Engine looks okay. I've seen better, but it's not bad. And again, these parts all look pretty good. There's no horrible injection pin marks in here, which is good. And the wheelbase themselves are all clean, which is good. Nothing worse than trying to get a sanding stick in there to remove a horrible injection pin. Let's go over that so you can see that in a bit more detail. It's picking up the detail okay. It's all pretty good. Um, we've got our one piece cow, which is quite nice, so there'll be no horrible seam line in there. Bit. bit Blurry. It's going to need a bit of clean up around there, but I mean it's it's got some quite nice large rivets, recessed panel lines again. Not bad. Could have been better, I think, but yeah, I think with sanding stick won't have too much of a problem there. Clear parts. We should have two bags of clear parts. So we've got what we've got here. I always love the way Hobby Boss uh, package these, and nice. They take a lot of uh, effort to make sure they're kept protected, beautifully clear. Uh, there is a centre seam down the middle, which I imagine you're going to have to take care of, polish out, but otherwise, really nice clear part there. Second bag of clear. Oops. Again, we've got this cover to protect it. This will be the front part, the canopy. Again, really nicely moulded. Nice and clear. Should be easy to mask as well. Is the, so the this part's quite raised, which is nice. Makes it easy. Then you've got the instrument, two different types of instrument panels there. Although they would appear to be exactly the same as far as I can tell. And a couple of little lights, bits and pieces. And then the decals. Got a separate little decal sheet for the tie version, the insignia. They look quite nice. Hobby Boss decals are normally pretty good. And then we got the others here. Nice colours here. You have got a, an instrument uh, decal here, so that's good. Should make it a bit easier. 
progress. There's not a massive amount of stencils, so that's always, <laughs> that's always good. Yeah, they look pretty good to me. Well, that's a pretty basic kit, but I think that's going to build into a nice model. Looking forward to getting cracking on that one. Um, thanks for watching. Cheers.